About 20 miles out into the Gulf of Maine, Nan Hauser is looking for her friends. Come on, we'll come back up. She's a whale biologist whose happy place isn't in an office or lab. Oh, there it is. But out in the field, studying all 88 species of whale, she's especially focused on the humpback. And when they breach, it's the best. She was hoping to see one of those breaches aboard the Cap'n Fish's whale watching boat in Booth Bay Harbor. Was it a fish or was it big? This first watch of the summer didn't get much activity, but Nan was happy to tell the captain what she sees on the Cook Islands. In the South Pacific. Where she has spent the last 18 years getting up close and very personal with one of the world's largest mammals. It was jaw clapping, really loud like this. This is video Nan shot of a humpback calf making a clapping sound with its jaw she had never seen or heard before. After some time, its mom came into view, accompanied by a male escort. And it didn't take Nan long to realize what was going on. She just ditched him. She went from biologist to babysitter, while mom went off to have some alone time with her boyfriend. And he just comes right up to me and he's kind of like, wow, you're my mother. Though a baby, the whale is still around 25 feet long. His parents are more than twice that and weigh in at around 50 tons, big and at times just an arm's length away from Nan. I feel an affinity with the animal, so I'm not afraid of them. And I don't think that they would ever hurt me. I really don't. I, they've been so careful. Her research includes the dangerous process of tagging whales. Scariest thing I've ever done. To track migration routes of humpbacks in the southern hemisphere from their feeding grounds in the Antarctic to the South Pacific to give birth and mate. That is a beautiful bridge. Her job as the president of the Center for Cetacean Research and Conservation has offered her a bird's eye view. You see the animals in a totally new light. But it's the sounds and activity she's documented underwater. <laughs> that has been the most groundbreaking. And they repeat them over and over again. So only the males sing, and they sing the same song every year, and then it changes. And we don't know who makes it up and why it changes, but it does. She can't translate what she's hearing from the whales, but she can imitate it. And so can her dog, Brody, who doesn't make getting work done at her Brunswick home easy. It's impossible to analyze my whale song with him anywhere near me. Maybe he's hearing something that his owner isn't. Or maybe he's telling her to be more careful. And they've actually lifted up my boat and I'd slid down their back and then rammed it and tried to knock it over. To find out as much as possible, Nan gets as close as possible. Okay, 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 watch out. And that can turn dangerous quickly, like when this female came right up into the boat. That was against my forehead. Scary. But for the woman who has dedicated her life to studying humpback whales, it's a thrill that just won't quit. I probably should be scared, but I'm not. It's not the kind of fear. It's, it's exciting adventure to me. I guess I kind of live on the edge.